Just a quick disclaimer for the video you are about to watch. Um, in the video, a, a large part of the focus of part of it is watching something moving at a constant velocity and verifying that it's actually moving at a constant velocity. Um, and the problem, of course, is that I'm trying to demonstrate it in real life, and although I have a low friction cart and a low friction track, there is still a little bit of friction. And so inertia says that once an object is in motion, you know, if I don't keep pushing on it, it should just move at a constant velocity because uh, there's no unbalanced forces on it if we ignore friction. But of course, in real life, there is friction. And so, although, you know, initially it looks like it has a pretty constant velocity, it is actually slowing down. And it's more and more obvious by the time it gets to the end. And eventually you can see, you know, it is going to stop eventually. Right there. Um, and so there are times uh, in the video where you will hear me talking, you know, excitedly about how, hey, look, it's moving at a constant velocity. And you will obviously see the object, or maybe not super obviously, but there will be times where you will see the object still kind of be like, uh, no, Mr. Malm, it's, it's slowing down. Uh, and, and what I want you to keep in mind is that it's, it's moving at as close to a, of a constant velocity as I can show you with the limitations of the equipment I have. Um, and so, um, you know, imagine, you know, if the cart was just rolling along the track, that little bit of degradation try in, in its velocity, try to ignore that part. And I apologize if that causes any confusion during the video. Um, it gets a little bit worse in a few cases uh, where there are going to be two carts that are Velcroed together. And so when that happens, the way that these bind together, if the wheels are at all misaligned with each other when they get stuck to each other, uh, there's some grooves in the track. And so, uh, individually, the carts do a pretty good job of not having the wheels bind in the track, but when there's two of them stuck together, uh, if they're uh, bound together at a slightly weird angle, that can cause the friction uh, from those grooves to be worse, and so you might see the velocity degrade from friction a little bit more noticeably um, when, the, um, when the carts are stuck together like this. Um, but it should still be a slow process. So as we're watching these objects and trying to verify that all the things we're going to look at has a constant velocity, if you see a very small but gradual degradation in the velocity, that's okay. That's still showing what we want, and that's just because of friction, and I don't have any good way to get rid of that. Uh, what you should never see, though, is a really quick, instantaneous jump in velocity. You should never see the velocity suddenly get a lot faster and suddenly get a lot slower because that would mean that something is going on more than friction. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I apologize for not doing a better job of explaining that in the video you're about to watch and needing to shoot this extra one, uh, but just keep that in mind as you're watching the next video.